Good day to everyone. I'm Sir Frederick Orbase, the school head of Baligang Elementary School. And I'm so glad to be your facilitator on today's webinar presentation. Today, I will teach you everything you need to know about what is MS OneDrive and how it is being used. Before I proceed on my proper presentation, I want you to familiarize the following learning objectives. Number one, define OneDrive. Number two, cite the benefits of using OneDrive. Number three, demonstrate on how to use OneDrive. And number four, execute the application using OneDrive. OneDrive has many practical tools. Looking how you could save and organize your digital files, share them, and collaborate with others. You'll find that OneDrive is very easy. Before jumping to OneDrive, you need to have a basic concept on cloud storage. Unlike physical storage like hard disk, memory card, USB or pin drive, cloud storage is something you let you store your data on the internet. OneDrive is also one kind of cloud storage, which is operated by Microsoft. Now, let us define what is OneDrive. OneDrive is a Microsoft cloud service that connects you to all your files. It is like a USB on the internet. You can store folders, documents, photos, and even short video clips. Can be used on phones, tablets, and computers by installing it with OneDrive installer or apps. You can access it from any computer or device. It integrates with your Windows computer. And now, let us cite the benefits of using OneDrive. Number one, accessibility. Once you store your file on OneDrive stories, you can access from anywhere and using by a device via internet. Here are the benefits of using OneDrive. Number one, accessibility. Once you store your file on OneDrive Stories, you can access that from anywhere and using by a device via internet. Number two, benefits. File sharing. After storing your files in OneDrive, you will get a link. And when you need to share those files, you can just share the link to the recipients instead of emailing to individuals. Another benefits of using OneDrive is for backup and security. Here, you can store your important data in OneDrive storage as it was more secure than saving it on local drives. Microsoft OneDrive keeps your photos and files backup, protected, sync, and accessible on all your devices. How do we use OneDrive? Now, I will show you and teach you how to use OneDrive. Let's make the move. The first process or steps in using OneDrive is to install it. If you are a Windows 10 user, you will have OneDrive free installed on your computer. OneDrive can be easily installed both on tablet and smartphones. It works on iOS and Androids. To start using OneDrive, first of all, you need to have a Microsoft account. To do this, go to your favorite browser, for example, google.com.ph, type onedrive.com, then click search. Once you are now on the web, you can now sign in if you have already a Microsoft account using your email, either Gmail or Yahoo. But if you do not have Microsoft account, you can sign up to create a Microsoft account. Let us say, for example, for those who do not have a Microsoft account, you can create your own account by clicking sign up, type create an account, click next, create your password, click next. As you can see on the dashboard, 
this will be the appearance. But you need to go to um, address bar type onedrive.com to sign in. Now, you have successfully created your own Microsoft account. You are now ready to sign in. To do this, you need to go to address bar type onedrive.com or onedrive.live.com Next, to sign in in OneDrive, you need to click Sign In, type your Microsoft account email, type your password. After you will successfully log in to your OneDrive account, you will see the dashboard. As you can see on the middle section, it contains your saved files. Or documents. At the left section, the navigation bar, it tells you to search to search all the files that you want to you want to access. At the left section is the navigation bar. Here you can easily access your files. At the top section, you can upload your files, your documents, or even you can create your folder. At the top left portion of the dashboard, you can see the clipboard. Let's click the clipboard. As you click the clipboard, you will see the online Microsoft Office available. So, how do we move our files from our computer to OneDrive? These are some options when we are going to move our files from our computer or devices to our cloud. One of these is by single file, multiple files, upload, uploading, and organizing in folder. So let's start by single file. Let us try to move a single file from our computer to the OneDrive online. Here, you are going to open a file from your computer. Then you are going to select one, a single file. Then you are going to drag it and drop it on the OneDrive online. Now, how, how, we, how are you going to send a multiple files? By doing this, we need to open again our computer, then select multiple files, then you are going to drag and drop it to your online OneDrive online. To move a multiple files from our computer, to OneDrive Online, we need to open our files in our computer. Then, we are going to select multiple files on your computer. Then, drag it and drop it on the OneDrive Online. Another option to move a file from your computer to your OneDrive account is by uploading. Here, you are going to click the upload button on your OneDrive account. Then select a file from your computer. Then it will automatically uh, upload it to your OneDrive account. You can also move a folder from your computer to your OneDrive account by clicking again the upload button. Select the folder on your computer. You are going to move to your OneDrive account. 
you can also upload your folder from your computer directly to your OneDrive account by clicking the upload button on your OneDrive account. Select the folder on your computer you want to upload to your OneDrive account. So, how are you going to organize your folder in your OneDrive account? In order to organize your folder from your OneDrive account, you need to create or make a folder by clicking the new button, create a folder, and you can name it. Let us say, for example, you have already created a folder. Then now, you can now organize those documents to the folder containing documents. And those images, you can move or drag it to the folder containing images. Now, let's talk about how we can share our documents. There are a few ways to send your documents. We can share button, create a link by email, and even by social media. Let's start with the share button. Select a file, click the file, Click the share button, send it to the person you want to email it or to share it. You can add message, then send. Another way of sharing a file to your friends through creating a link. To do this, you need to select a file, click the share button. Click the copy link, copy the link, paste it to the platform you want to send it, example, Gmail, Skype, or even message. You can also share the file or document by email. To do this, suppose you have an open document. Then you wish to share it or send it to your friend or to the person. Just click the share button. Then type the email address to the person you wish to send the document. Then click send. If you want to share a picture or a PDF in social media, just double-click the file you want to send in social media. Let us say, for example, I choose the PDF file. Double-click the PDF file. Click the share button. Click more, then select the social media you prefer to send it, example, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. One good thing about OneDrive is the permission options. Go to link settings. By default, people are allowed to edit your documents. In order to restrict them from editing, you can uncheck the box. After using your OneDrive account, always don't forget to sign out for the safety of your files and for the security of your OneDrive account. To sign out, click the sign out button, click sign out. To learn more about using OneDrive, you may watch my additional videos. That's it. And for your task, you are going to take a screenshots of your activities using OneDrive. For example, 
signing in or signing up, uploading, sharing. Paste it to the slide presentation and upload it to the drive provided by the SDO using the filing format. Your name, then the name of your school. Thank you very much for listening. This will be the end of my tutorial lesson.